Nice to meet you today, Admin. I'm here. Nice to meet you. Under your support, I feel like I can even beat a much stronger enemy. Oh, and Lord Mimir also helped a lot. How humble of you to think of me. I was ready to drink the second cup myself. Do you feel burdened by the sense of responsibility? You can join or not. It's totally up to you. Anyway, we'll still try to get rid of that Fizzbane mark in you. Until then, you're free to stay here, and I highly recommend that you do. Such information should remain secret. Until you formally join, that is. But since you are going to stay here for quite a while, I think it should be fine to reveal something to you. Okay, where should we start? You may find what I'm about to tell you rather shocking. It may completely subvert your understanding of the world. You'd better be prepared. Were you aware that what you call your world is actually a virtual world? We call this world Gaia. But the truth is that this world is merely a digital copy. A recreation of the world in which human beings originally lived. The original physical world where humans lived is called Planet Earth. Unfortunately, a weapon used during a war rendered it uninhabitable. The surviving governments of humanity banded together in those last days. With the world's greatest scientists, they tried to figure out a way to keep the light of humanity and civilization going. There was only one solution in the end, flawed though it was. In short, humanity had to relinquish its sovereignty over Earth and their physical bodies, and upload their consciousnesses into a supercomputer generating a virtual reality. Gaia. Correct. The original Gaia world copied the 22nd century Earth, the one before that war. It took more than two centuries of development to reach what it is today. I 
I'm afraid the Gaia system is not quite so simple. You need a lot of stability to create a world, even a virtual world, with orderly and well-regulated systems. Bias always means a risk of some sort of catastrophic failure. This is also one of the reasons why the system's architects modeled Gaia after the human civilization of the 22nd century. Natural disasters, unintended phenomena, even dangerous monsters. Actually, we're still not quite sure about the exact reason why Visbanes appear, but it's no doubt that they are a result of some kind of critical system failure. So now, I think you can understand why we modifiers exist. power to fight Visbanes, and the moment they realize their born purpose and identity. But it differs for everyone. I've heard lots of stories about modifiers getting their powers without understanding who they are. When I was 17, like I was remembering something from a past life. I don't know how to describe it. I just suddenly realized that I am very different. Yes! And Ether Gazer runs regular scans for unusual fluctuations in divine power with the Mimir system. They picked me up right away and sent an invitation to join. Oh, but I told my parents I was going to college in the big city. Adoptive parents, that is. Most modifiers have regular childhoods on the surface layer of Gaia. I'd say I was really lucky to get the adoptive parents I got. I'm a little overconfident. There's no way I can handle so many Visbanes without the Mimir system's help. What? synchronizing to the system without permission, I should be the one asking that. What was the name of the system you're using? Read after me. The Mimir system. next time. No one forces overtime on Mimir. No one. Let's go!
Hello? Okay. Okay. Come to hang with me. Hang with you? I do hope. Uh. Huh? What's your business? Nice to meet you. 